Right, so we're back at Josh's house today, back at the Tiff Tuff. Gonna put down some pre-emergent, um, some Oxa Pro. Let's get into it. Yo mate, what up? Welcome to another lawn tip vid. So as I said, back at Josh's house today, back at the Tiff Tuff, it's looking really, really good. It's really damn well. A little bit dry at the moment because we haven't had rain for, the, for about two weeks. Um, but it's been handling it pretty well for new turf, to be honest. Um, a couple of dry spots here and there, like that, where there's a rock underneath. Can't do much about that. <laughs> then there is another dry spot here where there's a rock. But the lawn, in general, looks pretty good. You can tell it's dry. But seriously, for not getting water for two weeks, um, and we've had no rain or anything on it, like, pretty dang good, to be honest. Right, so I'll show you the backyard. Josh said it's a little bit more stressed out in the backyard. It's dried off a little bit more. I'm guessing that would be because we're on a big slope. As you can see, yeah, a couple of dry spots here and there. It'll come back fine. Um, Josh's going to give it a water after I put this product down. Um, he did give it a water this morning as well though, so this wasn't stressed because you don't really want to put pre-emergent out on your lawn when it is stressed because you can do damage to it. So it's not stressed. It's got, it looks like it's stressed now, but he's given it a good water just to be safe. Um, but yeah, I tell you what, this lawn is holding on really, really well for only being like, I think it's two months up, um, and not getting any water. Tiff tough man. All right, so this is the product here. It is Anderson's Oxa Pro. So the active in it is Oxidiazon. Now it is a fertilizer as well, so it's got some nitrogen, um, potassium, and phosphorus on top of that, which is coated in sulfur. Um, but yeah, it's a slow release for it. Got a bit of cane as well, which is gonna be good for this time of year. Um, to help with their root system leading into winter. But anyway, um, this stuff here, the rate for it is four kilos per hundred square meters, um, and it's fine on warm season turfs here, and it controls, if you're using it in the springtime, summer grass or crabgrass, um, and also crow's foot, and it's also great for power or winter grass, which is what we're using it for today to stop winter grass coming up in this lawn here. Just another quick thing I want to mention, I'm not sure if you can see it on here, but it says here, safe on kaki, buffalo, common cooch, um, not Santa Ana though, don't use them on Santa Ana. It's fine with Tiff Hybrid Cooch, so it's going to be fine with Tiff Tough. Saltwater Cooch, which is Paspalum. That's some funky stuff, I'll tell you what. Um, Queensland Blue Cooch, it's fine on. Bahia Grass, which is also on the top of Paspalum, and also Zoysia. It's going to be fine on as well. So this should also, the fert in this should feed this up to about eight weeks on top of that, because it is slow release. Um, and just quickly as well, make sure you don't apply this if your grass is wet, because it can potentially burn, um, and don't cut it on really low um, put, sur putting surfaces like below like five mil because you can potentially get burned as well and don't put it on newly seeded areas because it'll stop your seed coming up for one and it's also gonna probably knock down the seed you put down pretty hard on top of that but yeah good time of year to get your pre-emergent out is now I'd highly reckon if you haven't put some out now put some down unless you've seeded recently um, you can also use something like barricade Dithio Max is another one Oxapro we're using today um, we're using it today because this is pretty new turf um, and it's going to be a lot safer on newer established areas. Now, just make sure when you put this stuff down, you don't get it near any of your trees or shrubs or flowers or anything like that because it will damage them or could potentially damage them. Um, but yeah, that's about it. Josh is watering it in now. Just chuck sprinkles on at the back. Make sure you get the water down as soon as you can. Um, and that's, that's it about it. Now, I'm not putting down pre-emergent at my house probably for a little while longer just because I've got that new seed out. So unfortunately, I can't get anything down. Otherwise, it'll kill off a seed I've got or stop it germinating anyway, so that's the way it sort of is, but yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna wrap the video up. Thanks guys so much for watching. Um, really appreciate it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Like this video if you enjoyed it. See you next week. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I could've burped.